Welcome to the Progressive Automation's product overview videos. Today, we will be going over the PA28, our two-channel actuator control box. The PA28 can be used to control all of our actuators, up to 15 amps per channel. The PA28 gives two-channel control, allowing you to move each actuator independently. First, we will go over what comes with the unit, and then go over the wiring. The PA28 comes with the control box, two remotes, a power wiring harness, and two actuator wiring harnesses. It also comes with a mounting pad to stick it to your application. To wire the PA28, you take your actuator wiring harnesses and connect them to your actuators. On one of them, the green wire connects to the red wire, and the yellow wire connects to the black wire on your actuator. On the other one, the blue wire connects to red, and the white wire connects to black. Once your actuators are connected to the wiring harnesses, you can plug them into the front of the control box. Next, you take your power wiring harness and connect that as well. And then you connect the two wires on the end of it to your power supply. The red wire connects to positive 12 volts, and the black wire connects to ground. Once everything's all hooked up, you can use the buttons on the remote to move the actuators. Out, stop, and in. And then the other buttons control the other actuator to go out, stop, and in. You can also change the box to have momentary control, where you hold the buttons down to move it. We'll change that setting now. To change the control mode on the PA28, you need to adjust a small jumper on the inside of the box. To open the box, use a knife or flathead screwdriver to lift the tab over the ridges on the side to pop off the front of the box. You can then use a pair of pliers to pull the circuit board out of the box. It may be very tough. Once the circuit board is open, you can look at the side here on this little jumper. If it's connected to one pin, then it will be in push to start, push to stop mode. If you move the black connector over so it's connecting both pins, then it will be in momentary control. Once you've put it in the position you want, you can slide the board back in. Make sure to slide the circuit board in the upper set of grooves so it slides in nicely. Then you put the front control panel back on and you're ready to use it again. Now that we've changed the settings to momentary control, the buttons on the remote act differently. Now, when you hold the button, the actuator will move and as soon as you let go, it'll stop. Same for reverse. The middle buttons now don't do anything. You still have independent control of either actuator. This has been our product overview of the PA28 two-channel actuator control box. You can find this product and more at our website, www.progressiveautomations.com. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at 1-800-676-6123 or email us at info at progressiveautomations.com. Links to everything shown in this video are in the description down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to see new videos as soon as they are released. Stay tuned for more videos in the coming weeks. This has been a Progressive Automation's product overview video. See you next time.